Hello, my name's Caroline Murray and I'm an equine nutritionist for Bailey's Horse Feeds and today I'm going to speak to you about feeding your horse. Today I'm going to speak to you about feeding the laminitic horse or pony, a problem that affects unfortunately a lot of horses and ponies going into the spring when the lush grass comes along and unfortunately people don't always take the precautions that are needed. So in the case of nutrition related laminitis, this is often a cause of an overload of starches from perhaps your cereals, your hard feed side of things, and your sugars, your fructans from the pasture. So looking at this, the problem doesn't occur from high levels of protein or anything like that. It is looking at these two areas. So in the case of laminitis, for the poor doer, because often not all laminitic horses and ponies are overweight, in the poorer doer, what is needed is to source calories from the safest form. And in this instance, it will be from high oil products and also fibres, good quality, highly digestible fibres. So in this case, it's preferable to base the diet on a balancer to ensure that all vitamins, minerals, proteins, etc. are being included in the diet. And that will just boost general immune system, general overall health and well-being. And then to source the calories from perhaps a high oil supplement, which can often come in a pelleted form, a nugget form. Um, for example, the Outshine supplement can be added to a balancer, and that is a safe form of calories for the laminitic. Quality fibres, as mentioned before, such as alfalfa chaffs, unmolass beet pulp, and a quality digestible hay or haylage. But being careful that obviously high sugar levels are avoided, so sometimes soaking the hay in this instance is preferable. For those laminitics that need to shed the pounds, then obviously the high oil products, the quality other fibre sources aren't so important. So in this instance, just basing the diet on a balancer and making sure that an access to hay, so no less than 1% of the horse or pony's body weight is provided. Certainly in this case, soaking the hay is a good idea. And also just to make it last as long as possible, so encourage the trickle feeding, stop boredom and any digestive upset. Sometimes providing the soaked hay in small hold nets or double netting the hay nets is a good way just to let those mouthfuls last a bit longer. But again, in this instance, do contact a nutritionist, a feed line or through the websites of feed companies as at this time it can be very difficult just to work out what's best for your horse or pony.